Okay, in this video we're going to continue looking at some of the graphing features on the TI. Uh, last time, most important thing was uh, talking about how to enter a function and get a good graph for the function. It's, it's essential that you're able to do that because what we're going to talk about today hinges on your ability to do that. So tr practice this one. See if you can enter this function in Y1 on your TI and play around with the with the window till you get a good graph. Hit, hit the pause button. Okay, one window that'll work would be uh, negative 50 to 50 on X with X scale 5 and negative 100 to 100 on Y with Y scale 20. Anyway, so what we're going to talk about today first is how to solve equations with your TI. Uh, suppose you wanted to find the solutions to this E equation. We're talking about the real solutions to this E equation, the real numbers that make this equal zero. And the key to understanding this idea is to realize that the um, the x-intercepts of the graph of f of x are precisely the real solutions to f of x equals zero. Makes sense, doesn't it? Because when x equals x1, isn't the y-coordinate zero? So f of x equals zero when x equals x1. So let me show you how to do that on your ti. Now that you got it entered, right? we're going to use the zero feature. This is how you do it. Oops. This is how you do it. You go second calc. Then you hit zero, hit enter, and it's a three-step process. We're gonna we're gonna uh, find this first um, x x one by uh, using the arrow keys. We we move the arrow key to the left to so get to the left of it. Hit enter once. Move the right arrow key to so get to the right of it. Hit enter a second time, and now get close to it. Hit enter a third time. It's a three-step pro process. Anyway, I get negative 24.14, around it to hundredths. Let's, let's do it again. How would you approximate this x-intercept, or this solution to the equation? You'd go second calc, select zero, hit enter. Now remember, it's a three-step process. You have to get to the left of it using your arrow keys. Hit enter once. Now you get to the right of it using your arrow keys. Hit enter a second time. Now get, get close to it, hit enter a third time. I get about 4.14, around the hundredths. Okay, why don't you try the third one? Go ahead, uh, start off by hitting second calc, and uh, and see if you can find the approximate that third uh, x-intercept. Go ahead and hit the pause button. Uh, okay, the value I got was 20. Did you get 20 for the third one? Anyway, so, so the solutions to this equation equaling 0 are negative 24.14, 4.14 and 20 rounded to hundredths. Okay, let's keep on going. Suppose on a quiz or test you are asked to solve this um, quadratic e equation. How could you check your solution using your graphing cal calculator? Well, all we have to do is is use the zero feature and look at the x-intercepts. Let, let's clear this. Let's enter 4 minus uh, 3x minus 10 x squared and let's get a good window. How about zoom standard? Is that good? Uh, not really. How about going a uh, how about negative 2 to 2 on x make x scale what 0.5 maybe? How about negative 5 to 5 on y? Let's see what that looks like. That's not too bad. You see how important it is to be able to play around with, with the window and um, and get a decent window fairly quick, quickly. All right, so let, let's let's use the um, let, let's use the zero feature. Now, now remember, the x-intercepts of this function are the solutions to this quadratic e equation. There's two real solutions because there's two x-intercepts. Okay, second calc, zero. Let's get to the left of this first one. Hit enter. Get to the right of it. Hit enter a second time. Get close to it. And or a third time, I get about I get exactly negative 0.8. Okay, well, why don't you why don't you try to see if you can find the other x-intercept, the other solution to this quadratic e equation? Go ahead and hit the pause button. Okay, when I when I did it, I got um, I got one half. Did you get one half for the other one? Exactly. Now look look at this. Look at part B. 
Suppose we want to solve this inequality. Th this is precisely the same function as we have here in part A. I want to know when is y1 less than 0. A another way of saying that is when is the graph of y1 below the x-axis. I want to know all the x values for which the graph of y1 is below the x-axis. And you can tell the graph is below the x-axis over here. That would be when x is less than um, 0.5, right? Uh, less than uh, negative 0.8. And also over here when x is greater than 0.5. So this, this would be the solution. When x is less than negative 0.8 or when x is greater than 0.5, um, this inequality is true. So you can do that. You could write it in interval no notation as well. Here's something else you could do. What if you wanted to find the domain of this function? Now recall, for a square root, what's inside the square root has to be greater than or equal to zero. So we, we want to know when this is greater than or equal to zero. Well look, we just happen to have the graph sitting right here. When is the graph greater than or equal to zero? When is the graph, when are the y values above the x-axis? Isn't that when x is between x1 and x, x2? So it would be, between, it would be negative 0 0.8 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 0 0.5. Or you could write it in interval no notation as well. Here's something else I want to talk about today. Well, I want to talk about the intersect feature. Let, let, let's, let's see when these two graphs inter, intersect. Uh, and what I want I'm trying to find is uh, to, to solve this equation, if I, if I enter this as y1 and this is y2, the solutions to the equation are precisely where the points where the graphs inter intersect, right? So th this is how we do it. Let's clear this. y1 is going to be x squared uh, plus x. y2 is going to be 3x plus 5. And we got to get a good window. Let's, let's see about zoom standard. Is that a good window? Uh, not exactly. Let's make y max bigger. Let's make it 20. Change this to 2. How about that? Does that look pretty good? That's good enough. Okay, so here we go. The intersect feature is very similar to the to the um to the zero feature. It starts off the same way. You go second calc. Now instead of selecting zero, let's select inner intersect. Now the way it works here is you have to tell it which two functions you want to look at. Since we only have two entered, it, it, it doesn't it, it doesn't really seem like we have to do this, but, but if you had like five functions in there, you have to tell it which, which two. The first curve is x squared plus x. Yes, so hit enter once. The second curve is 3x plus 5. Yes, hit enter a second time. Now the third thing we do is we get close to the point of intersection. So let's use our left arrow key, get close to that point of intersection, hit enter a third time, and I get about negative 1.45. That, that's one of these points of intersection. X equal, well, it's the x-coordinate. Um, see if you can hit, uh, try to find the other x coordinate where, where they where they cross. Go ahead and hit the pause button and um, and, and see if you can do that. Okay, to do that, you would go second calc, intersect. The first function is x squared plus x. Yes. Second function is three x plus five. Yes. Now, before you hit guess, before you hit enter a third time, get close to the other point of intersection. Did you get about three point? Four, five. So those are the two, those are the two solutions to this equation. The two solutions to this equation using the intersect feature are precisely the two points where the graphs cross. Okay, last thing. So how would you how would you use the intersect feature to solve this inequality? When is um, let's see, this is y one, this is y two. When is y one less than y two? What values of x is that true? Well, the graph of y1 is below the graph of y2 precisely when x is between x1 and x2, right? So that, that's your, your solution. Negative 1.45 is less than x is less than 3.45. Or you can write an interval note notation. Alrighty, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.